doing the intro for this video mid project, which makes perfect sense. It's a nice 18 degrees outside, almost middle of the night. Let's install some train horns. <music> On today's episode of Overdoing It, we're going to have some fun. Step one for me was remove the old horns, make a template out of blue painter's tape, draw a pattern, and drill some holes in the fiberglass. Never gets any easier to do that, but that's the best way with the tape to help the gel coat not crack. And made a template, set the base on, sharpie holes, drilled away. Have the tank stashed away right there. Have the compressor tucked back there. Time to do some wiring. All right, it's getting late and pretty cold. I think it's almost in the teens, but I've got the tank in place, the gauge, drain, pressure switch there in the gray box, stainless steel braided hose going into the tank. There is a pressure relief. We've got the compressor loosely placed. I had to clean all this up tomorrow and finish when I get the uh, airline put in and tidy everything up then I will permanently mount the tank and compressor. Just did the wiring for the solenoid so when you hit the horn switch that will let the air go to the horns using the original switch and so far that's where the project's at. The airline I had bought was way too stiff and would not bend at all. Old horns, new. Should be ridiculous. The next day. Got about 80 or 90 PSI in the tank. First shot. <laughs> Today's Terrible Decisions brought to you by yours truly. It is windy, um, below freezing, and we're going to test these train horns. Right now we've got about 90 PSI in the tank. Apparently this is good for 150, so let's see what about 90 PSI sounds like. the reverb I mean way far away all right 150 psi from the horn mm, too much last shot here kind of dialed in about 90 to 100 maybe 110 psi is really optimal for this so we're gonna have to go ahead and buy a regulator but uh, overall success definitely Way too much. Three days later. Part two, train horn. Gonna make it all one video, but we're back here this nice warm summer day and I made some revisions to the system and I'm gonna go over that now. Over here on the tank side, put a 90 on the pressure gauge so I can actually see it instead of it facing that way. I switched the pressure switch to cut off at 120 and back on at 90. I'm now using Flexzilla main air line to the solenoid and have the compressor line still hooked up there, the stainless steel braided. Um, I just added 90s to make them go under the dash easier and also swapped out a 150 PSI relief valve instead of the old 170. Ignore the mess, but the solenoid is tied up there and electrical hooked up and airline out for the horns. Uh, later this week when it's not freezing, I'm going to do some cleanup here and get all this tidied up and seal around that hole up there where the airline goes out. But pretty much that would call this project a success after some trial and error and dialing in the pressure um, I think we're good to go now look forward to 
being obnoxious. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And know that I'm actually doing something halfway decent here.